Hey guys, it's Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video is going to be very interesting and also lit because I'm going to show you how to unlock a special hidden feature on the new ROG Phone 3. Uh, the brand has actually, you know, advertised this phone as a 144Hz refresh rate gaming phone. But to be honest, there's actually a hidden feature that lets you unlock 160Hz refresh rate on it. That is nuts guys. So what actually happened is it was Sunday right yesterday. So I was just browsing through XDA developers website and I happened to read this article on the ROG Phone 3 that says how to unlock 160Hz mode on this phone. And when I saw that I was like very curious like does this actually work? Let me just try it out and see. And it actually worked and unlocked a special mode in the display settings of the refresh rate. And from there you can access 160Hz refresh rate on this phone. 160Hz on a phone is actually mind blowing. That is insane. My gaming monitor also doesn't have that high refresh rate which I'm currently playing at my home. So in this video what I'll do is I'll quickly show you how to unlock this 160Hz refresh rate on your ROG Phone 3. The tutorial is like very easy guys, you can do it in like 1 or 2 minutes only. But before trying out this tutorial, I'd like to give a huge thanks to XDA developers uh, for actually finding this hidden feature on this phone. That is how I got to know about this feature. And also before trying this tutorial actually, I would advise you, see, you guys should have a little bit of computer's knowledge and also some software knowledge to be able to use that and uh, to be able to use that procedure and unlock the feature on this phone. It's actually very simple guys, you don't need to worry about anything. Just watch my video step by step and you'll be able to do that. So let's get started. You can use this tutorial using both your PC or laptop guys. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to set up ADB on your PC. You can simply do that just by downloading these files from the internet. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. They're called the ADB platform tools. And once you open that, you can see all these files in the folder as you can see on the screen. So press the shift button and right click to open up this menu and click on PowerShell window over here. So once you reach this point, what you'll have to do is you'll have to connect your ROG Phone 3 to your PC. So this is how the interface on the PowerShell will look like. Now what you'll need to do is you need to type ADB devices on it. See sometimes you may get this error. That time what you'll have to do is you'll have to type dot slash ADB devices. So first try the first method. If that works, then you're good to go. Otherwise follow the second method which is dot slash ADB. And now you can see that the PowerShell will display your phone serial number on the screen. After that what you'll need to do is you'll have to type a special ADB command over here. Here. The command I'll leave in the description box. I'll, it's a line guys. So first type ADB and give a space and copy paste this line from the description box in the PowerShell over here. It says shell set prop debug dot vendor dot asus dot fps dot eng1 and after you copy paste that just press enter button and here also if you get this error like this in red line you'll have to follow the same procedure as before. What you'll need to do is instead of just using adb command, you'll have to press dot slash adb and then copy paste the same command again. See nothing will happen even if you get errors like this. As you can see, I got them personally while trying it out. Just again, redo the steps one by one and you'll get it working in no time. And as you can see after typing the dot slash adb followed by this line command, this is what you'll see on the screen. There'll, nothing will happen actually on the screen. It'll happen on your phone. That's pretty much it guys, there is nothing else to do over here. You can simply close this PowerShell window and now what you'll need to do is you'll need to reboot the phone and after that if you go to the settings in the display section and the refresh rate, you'll see the new 160Hz option pop up on the screen. That is crazy right? I've already been using this option since like one day and you can see the phone feels super smooth in the video. Let me just quickly open the settings and show you the option as well. Here you go, you can see 160Hz refresh rate option in the menu, which is higher than 144Hz guys and is currently most fastest gaming phone in the market today. That is awesome, right? So it was a very simple tutorial. So I hope this video helped you on how to enable the 160Hz option on your phone. And that my friends is how you can enable and push the display on the ROG Phone 3 to an insane 160Hz refresh rate. So I have to tell you when you switch it to the 160Hz, the phone's display feels super fast. It's like buttery smooth. You can definitely feel that difference, especially because I've been using my OnePlus 8 Pro as my uh, primary phone, right? So 120Hz on that and 160Hz on this definitely makes a difference. And apart from that, if you talk about my feedback and impressions about this mode, 
see whenever you enable this 160 hertz mode on this phone i can see that there are slight shift in colors uh, the phone's display was very accurate in 144 hertz mode but when you switch it to 160 you can see a slight change in colors the color accuracy was going out but nevertheless you can even adjust the display from the splendid display options in the phone as per your preference so that is one thing i've observed and if you ask me about the battery life uh, it's just been like one day right i've been using this mode i haven't faced any i haven't actually seen any difference in the battery life because 144 to 160 is not that a big jump so that is something i'll be later uh, telling you only in my full review video which will have to wait well that's pretty much it that is the first thing that i've observed in this mode but if you talk about the performance especially while gaming in some games that support this high refresh rate it was awesome gaming feels so smooth you love the experience on this phone guys okay so that's it for today guys this is what i wanted to share with you all the special hidden feature on this phone if you all like this video definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up because i'm probably the first person on youtube to actually show you how to enable this feature and you know make sure to subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and i'll see you all in my next one